Are you looking for an Apple Pencil-like device but don't want to spend 100, 150 bucks? This is a $20 kind of Apple Pencil. It's a, it's a clone, obviously, but it's one of the best devices I've ever bought for $20. It works flawlessly for as far as I'm concerned. So let me go ahead and show you about this. Let's go. All right, welcome back to the channel. So what I wanna to do today is let me just set up the video. I have this $20 kind of Apple Pencil-like device and it's incredible. So I'm gonna just show you a little bit about it at first. Stay tuned though, a little bit later in the video, I'm gonna show you exactly how it works over here on the iPad, how it draws, the response time, just some quick things. Just I'm not an expert in this. I just picked it up for notes and just some basic sketching and stuff, but it works really good for, for what I'm concerned with. So I'll show you that in a second. So stay tuned for the video for that. Before I get into that, I just wanna show you I'll show you close-ups of the device. It's very heavy in the hand. It's got a tip that looks just like a pencil. It doesn't have any weird tip on it or anything like that. And uh, so, you know, it's again, it's kind of heavy. You know, it feels there's some substance to it, which is nice when you're drawing with it. But on the back of it, you do have a, a USB-C charging port. You can see it there with some close-ups. And then on the very, very back, if you touch it, just touch the very back of it, the very end of it, it'll turn on and off. A blue light will turn on, a blue light will turn off. And that's how you turn on and turn off the device to make it so it actually works on the screen. So very simple, very easy to use. Now in the box, the box looks very generic. You can see it here, but you now I was a little bit afraid when I ordered it, it was $21 I think, and I was like, did I make a mistake? Well, open the box up, you get a USB-C charging. It is USB-C to USB-A, so keep that in mind. And you get an extra tip as well, and then you get like a little kind of, a, just a tip that you can cover up the tip, I, I guess you call it like a, a cap, a cap on the, t on the front of it. So overall though, the device just feels really good in the hand. That's not that important, right? So let me just give you some specs. It comes in some different colors. It comes in green, black, pink, and then the white, which I like the white. And it says it works with 2018 to 2022, but it seems to work with all the different devices I've tested it on. I think I have a fifth generation over here, iPad and a sixth generation. It worked perfect on those. And uh, so, you know, in the company that it comes from, $21.24, I think it's Xiron, it's X-I-R-O-N. So I'll put the link, I'll put the stuff down here. I'll also have a link in the description so you guys can check it out. I don't know how to pronounce that. It's obviously some Chinese company, but they do a really good job with this pen. It says it comes with uh, lithium metal batteries um, inside of it. So, but I mean, the batteries were in it already, so you don't have to do anything like that. Pairing it's super easy. I didn't even have to pair it. I, I just basically opened up an application, clicked it on, and it worked perfectly. So there's no, it just automatically worked for me. I didn't have any pairing or anything like that. It says it's um, a 1.2 millimeter tip on it. It says a USB-C charging port. This is, does not have Bluetooth, just FYI. It does have palm rejection built in, which works really well. I'll show you that in a second. It's got a five minute auto sleep. So those are really good. And you know, if you go to the Amazon page, it's gonna give you a list of all the devices it's compatible with. So go, go there to check it out. I'll have a link again. It does have the charging port in the back. It says it's about 1.5 hours to charge it. You get about 20 to 22 hours of actual use using it, which is great. And I've tested that, that is true. And then takes, you get a 90 day standby. So 90 days you can actually have this without having to recharge it before it loses a lot of the charge. Um, palm rejection, smart touch on the back and then it's got obviously the case. So without further ado, let's go in to show you how this thing, where the rubber meets the road, how does this work? Again, I'm a simple user, I'm not an artist, so if you want an Apple Pencil, get an Apple Pencil. If you want to take notes or just dabble and draw a little bit, this is perfect. I mean, I can't see anything better for 10 or 20 bucks, you know? I, I mean, I'm assuming the Apple Pencil is a lot better. I just, for me, this is all I need, and this is most, maybe I'd say 80, again, 80 or 90% of people would just need this, unless you're an expert. I understand when you need the expert stuff, but if you're just kind of like trying to get into this, this is perfect. So let's go ahead and show you. All right, so I'm gonna try to show you how to use this pen. Now keep in mind, it's a $20 device and it's also just something that I'm not an artist or I don't use this all the time. I use it for notes and that's what I typically use this for. Here's the pen here, you can see it. I don't know if you guys can see that. I just tap the back of it, the light turns on and it's ready to go. So what I wanna do is there's an application here called Sketchbook. You can download it from you know the Apple Store and it's, it's incredible for free. It's a great note-taking tool, drawing tool, and it's basically free. I think there's some maybe paid features, but it comes with so many features for free, it's unbelievable. So I'm gonna go ahead and just click here on Sketchbook. 
It's going to open it up and you can see here the application. Over here, uh, if I click over here, you can see that this thing has just hundreds of different pen tips and different types of markers. It's got, you can draw boxes, fills, layering, everything like that that you would want. I'm just going to choose the basic pencil here and then click off of that. So now I have a pencil that we have for this, you know, this is what I typically use it for. So if I want to take notes, just so you guys can see this, I'm going to go ahead and over here actually, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. Let's make that a little bit bigger like that so you guys can see my notes. So if I'm just taking notes, it's super easy to do, obviously, just write and there it goes in. Um, and it, it just really works well. It's not like one of those pens that doesn't really, you know, mimic your, your handwriting. Mine's bad and you can see how bad it is there. But if you're just taking notes, you know, this is unbelievably good. So at the end of the day, it's there's a little bit of delay. I don't know if you can see that or the pen leads it just a little bit. I don't know if it shows on the camera. You just have to get used to that. I mean, it's not so much a delay. It's just that, it, it, you know, the pen is maybe a centimeter off of where the front of the line is but you get used to that very quickly. Um, and taking notes, that's what I use it primarily for, is incredible. I mean, you can change colors and everything in this application. Um, but what we're gonna do is, let's just say we wanna go down to new sketch here. We're gonna create one here. We're gonna do not save this. So if you're an artist, it's a completely, you know, I'm, I don't imagine this is a great experience too. Now, I don't know because of the Apple Pencil, so I'm not, I'm saying for $20, this is an incredible value. Compared to the Apple Pencil, if you're a true artist, you probably wanna spend the money on that. But in any case, so for something like this, you know, let's just say we're going to draw an eye. Um, you know, I have a, an eye, let's say. So you can see just by going really quickly in here, as you can fill in, you know, obviously you can fill in uh, the eye as it goes. And I can actually get my hand in here like this, and I can touch the screen like I'm doing right now, and I have no glove or nothing like that on, right? Nothing on my hand, and you can see that there's nothing down here that came in. So this is, I mean, it's got that kind of... Whatever the pen does, it, it can realize that the pen's touching versus my hand, maybe the application, maybe also the pen in general. I'm not sure, I'm not an expert. But so you can see that, like a, you know, obviously as you're drawing, it works really well. There's a slight delay, like I said, but it's, for me, it's almost unnoticeable. Um, you know, obviously, if you're, gonna, if you're gonna draw a car <laughs> really quickly, uh, maybe a Humvee or something like this, and you want to draw it in, you can see the delay there, but you can also see that, you know, it works really well, and you have all these different tools built in for $20, free application, $20 pen. Um, you know, just like any other application, this is not so much about the application. You can change colors, and you can do everything you want in this application if you wanted to. That's not the problem. The, the issue is going to be, does the pen work as good as an Apple Pen. Like I said, I've used Apple Pens before. They work fairly good for me. You know, I think it's a little bit faster as far as the lag on it, but here it's just really fast. I mean, look at this. Look how fast I'm doing this, and look how fast the lines are coming in. There's no delay, really. So it's very, very close to the Apple Pen. Now, I know that there's some major differences, and I'm not getting into that. I'm just showing you what's possible with this device. And uh, again, I you know, my typical thing is gonna just be exactly what I showed you before, and this is kind of what I wanted to show people is, um, you know, let's not save that, but I'm all in this, is like I'm doing my videos here, I'm gonna go like this, you know, talk, <laughs> two, notes, you know, this is what I use it for. And then I save this, you can save this to a PDF, and then I can upload it to myself, or I can view it from another device while I'm talking to you about the different things built into it. So, at the end of the day, this is the pen, and you can see the responsiveness of it. You can see, obviously, this application is really cool. Here's the eraser. You can see the eraser work there. Um, you can see how this is just something that's unbelievably good for you know a kid or someone that just wants to start dabbling in this. It's not maybe an expert that really wants to understand how to start using applications like this to take notes or to draw and just get into that kind of stuff, make t-shirts maybe. So at the end of the day, I give this a five out of five because for the cost, you know, you cannot go wrong with this device. I, I highly recommend it. I did another pen before and it had like a little weird thing on the tip. This one feels, looks like a pen, it looks like a pen and it acts like a pen. And uh, I would never know if I was buying this for a hundred bucks and this is what Apple sold me, I wouldn't really even, you know, question it to tell you the truth. It's heavy in the hand and it feels really good. So anyways, I just wanted to wrap up this part and hopefully this helps everyone out. All right, so let me wrap this up. So for $21, $22, somewhere in that range, is this worth it? A hundred percent. And can, again, it might be one of the best devices that I've ever used for that money. And let me just state, I like to take notes and I don't want to have notebooks of paper anymore. So I take them on an iPad. You can save them in like PDF format and then just mail them to yourself or I can do my notes for these type of videos. 
It works perfect, flawless for that, especially with that application that I gave you. Uh, let me go back to the name of it. It's called Sketchbook. Definitely check that out. It's an incredible application. If you pair these two together, I mean, I don't know, I haven't tested it with a lot of other applications, but if you pair those two together, it works flawlessly. So go ahead and check that out. Now drawing, again, I'm not an expert drawer. If I wanna dabble and color in stuff, it works really well for me. I know that there's experts out there that are probably will have some kind of delay or something where they can't, you know, who knows? It's gonna have a problem for them, but then get an Apple Pencil. But if you're just like wanna take this to take notes when you're traveling or for work or something and you're worried about losing it, this is perfect and there's nothing that I've seen better. I've tested a few of them. Check out my channel for some other videos on different pens. This is by far, so far, the best one I've tested. And, uh, and again, $20, just try it out. You can always return it if you need to. Um, and I, you know, it's not like the end of the world, right? You're not buying $200 device or something where you may never use it. This, this may come in handy a couple times a year and it's totally worth the price. So let me wrap up the video by saying, I'm glad everyone's supporting these kind of videos. I hope people like these where I'm not always going like the beaten trail, like the big YouTubers that always do the stuff that's you know super expensive. They always review $4,000 machines. I like trying to find things for cheap, $20 that works really well. You know, this is a perfect example of what it is and, and it can't complain at all. So go ahead and check it out. Um, I mean, again, I you're on your own. I, I don't get paid by these people. I bought it myself. If it's somehow the battery ran, runs out eventually or something, don't come back to me because I don't know. I'm just telling you my experience with having it a couple weeks now. I love it. And if it went out in two months, I'd probably buy another one anyway because that's how much I like it. So you let me know what you think in the comments. But, you know, like I said, be kind. This is just, it's a review but I haven't had it long enough to give you my full, I can't tell you it's gonna last two years, but what I can tell you for a simple user, note taker, not an artist, it's perfect. We'll talk to everybody soon, peace.